We have multiple storms about to hit everybody. We have the severe weather for today, even ramped up to a slight risk. This is going to be chances for damage and winds and hail still, but there is a small chance for a tornado. This will be for tomorrow as well. Also a slight risk and it will be for Saturday. They did put in this marginal, but I do think we'll get a slight risk right along the Gulf Coast of Texas and Louisiana. And I still think we will see a Sunday and maybe even a Monday as this trough comes through, brings a lot of strong winds for the northwest coming across the central u.s now as this goes out through the mid-atlantic and the northeast there's a chance that it could build a strong storm so we do need to watch this weather pattern Plus, what's happening over here with Major Hurricane Melissa. Major Hurricane Melissa is forecasted to be a Cat 4 hurricane with winds of 132 miles per hour sustained winds, 161 miles per hour wind gusts. And I'm still showing that this is going to tap into that deep ocean heat and it's going to come back as a strong Cat 4 hurricane. And still showing 20 to 30 foot waves that's going to hit over here towards Jamaica, over here towards Cuba, and go out through Turks and Caicos. So in the latest forecast, I'm going to show you exactly what's going on with the weather right around the corner because it's going to get intense and it's starting for today so first let's start off with hurricane melissa then we'll go off into what's happening for the lower 48 in the u.s now you see as it's forecasted to be that major hurricane you see is going on a west northwest tilt not a southwest so this will slowly bring winds closer and closer towards jamaica i'm showing as you go from friday into saturday is where things are really going to start falling off then as you go sunday and on this is where it can intensify and come right back with even bigger impacts then it's going to go right towards cuba as well latest intensity still shows 130 miles per hour wind gusts this upgraded late last night but you see it did go above the 120 just was not believable 130 is not believable neither now you see on latest intensity guys that a lot of them still bring it right up towards that major hurricane even still bring it towards that cat 4 with the hurricane models and some hurricane models are bringing it immediately up towards that cat 5 i'm not believing the cat 5 i'm believing the cat 4 a strong cat 4 seems like what it's going to be now gfs has been wrong the whole time and is the out outliers still for this morning so if someone is showing you over there gfs just don't listen to these people they're gonna put your life at risk this is not headed north this is coming towards jamaica obviously you can see the latest on the hurricane models hurricane analysis a as this passes by you for saturday sunday and to monday that's where it strengthens and starts coming back on that monday now if you notice it's really close towards the island so you can see here jamaica so as you're passing by you can see the banding down here hitting on your country and you can see up here the winds that's going to be hitting as it passes by for saturday into sunday bringing all this banding strong winds come with it a lot of flooding there's going to be a lot of onshore flooding coming with that and as it goes out through monday you see how it winds up intensifies some more before it starts coming back from monday into tuesday and this is where all the strong winds are really going to hit the island not to mention the position is just perfect for onshore flooding this is going to be some strong surge and some strong impacts one to two feet still possible still showing as this passes by and we get the storm system from saturday still potentially for sunday for the u.s and for monday that is still going to be blocked this is not pulling this further towards the north it's going to be longer impacts on jamaica it is going to be that next trough still pulling that further towards north while you still might get something spinning over here towards the northeast this could be a little bit further away this could be a little bit tighter towards the coast i will keep you updated make sure you click that bell for updates but this is going to impact cuba turks and caicos as well as a powerful major hurricane you can still see that here so as you look at your upper level winds as you go in from saturday into sunday you still have your upper level high right here that is still ridging out bringing everything further towards the west and now this is still blocking that cutoff low from bringing any kind of northward pattern. It is going to be afterwards when that trough comes through. It always showed that. I've been showing this for four to six days. So please stay updated with correct information. And I say that because you are literally messing with lies when you are telling people that GFS and this is going out through the north. Then they have two to three days to prepare for a major hurricane, a Cat 4. It's just not right. This is going to be a bad storm. Showing the latest with the Euro that after it goes by for Monday, that it does intensify and come right back for Tuesday and look how it goes on that east northeast angle that brings more winds more rainfall more surge 
towards your country. And you are going to be in a bad scenario, unfortunately. This is not going to change too much more. Then it's going to hit towards Cuba and Turks and Caicos as a very powerful major hurricane. The winds, as you go through the weekend, you are going to get chances for 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts as it comes by. But remember, the banding is going to be strong as well and bringing the flooding and the waves. But once it comes back from Monday into Tuesday, that's where it really is going to cover over to Ireland for Wednesday, going towards Cuba and towards Turks and Caicos for Thursday. So the latest information, 128 knot winds. That's 148 miles per hour winds. This is going to bring some very powerful wind gusts with it and very powerful sustained winds as well. So far showing your sustained winds would be somewhere around 112 knot winds, 130 miles per hour sustained winds plus. So you look at 130 miles per hour sustained winds plus 150 plus miles per hour wind gusts, probably 160 or more, a little bit more on the higher end. This is going to be a very powerful storm for y'all and for Cuba and for Turks and Caicos. Rainfall as you go through the weekend, then when it comes back from that intensification from Monday into Tuesday into Wednesday, you're showing anywhere over 400 millimeters. So now we're talking about anywhere from 17 to 18 inches of rainfall Plus what comes down from the higher elevations into the valleys is going to add up even more. Plus Cuba, the same thing, and going towards Turks and Caicos, bringing at least a foot. This is going to be a very catastrophic hurricane. Waves are still 8 to 10 feet all weekend long, 10 feet in that yellow. But once it intensifies and it comes back, still bringing you anywhere from the 20 to the 30 foot waves still. As you go by from Monday, Tuesday, and portions of Wednesday, as this goes by towards Cuba. Cuba, where it could intensify even more strength and bring anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 foot waves for eastern Cuba and going out through Turks and Caicos. But we also have the severe weather here for the U.S. So for today, you do have the chance for the tornadoes. You have that 2% right here. So here's your cities and states at risk for a potential tornado for today. This will be later on this evening, if at all. You still have your wind threat for today and your hail threat for today and chances for larger hail like I showed you yesterday in that yellow. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for today. And here's your cities and states at risk for the wind threat for today. Now you can see with HRRR, as you go through late this evening, this is where you get some storms popping up for New Mexico, also Colorado, and for Oklahoma. But once you get around 9 and 10 o'clock, then you're going to get some more storms forming up over here for western Texas. So you need to watch out for that later in the evening. I'm showing that your instability is going to start weakening down around that point. I really don't think you're going to see a chance for a tornado. I still think it's going to be chances for damage and winds and hail. Now as you go through overnight, Going to bring strong storms towards northern Texas, Oklahoma, eastern Kansas. And then for tomorrow, as we go through for Friday, it's going to build up again, bring more storms from Texas through Oklahoma. And this is where you could possibly get a discrete cell. That's what you're going to need to watch for. If it's not going to be a discrete cell, you don't have a lot of strong winds aloft where it'll get a quick twist from a speed shear. But I still think it's going to bring damage and winds and hail once again for tomorrow as that comes through. You see the bow and line feature bringing more chances for damage and winds with that all the way through the early morning hours. And it's going to go further. So for tomorrow, for Friday, your chances for tornadoes, you have a 2% in that cluster of storms like I was showing you. So far, here's your cities in Texas at risk. I still don't think it's a big risk, but it is a possibility. You also have the chances for the winds and the hail. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for tomorrow, for Friday. And remember, all this yellow right here is like I showed you yesterday, chances for the large hail. Plus our wind threat for tomorrow. Here's your cities at risk in Texas for the damage and winds for Friday. So you can see as you're going through for Saturday, that is bringing that wind threat and the strong storms for Texas. And as you go through Saturday, even overnight into Sunday, look how it persists, showing that it could bring more damage and winds. Another squall line coming through for Louisiana as well as you go overnight Sunday into the early morning hours. So I'm still showing that that would be ramped up also for Sunday and still showing possibly a Monday. So for Saturday, we do have a severe weather risk. We have that 5%. I think we would see a slight risk over here for Eastern Texas going through Western Louisiana for winds. So far, here's your cities and states at risk for Saturday. They only have Texas, but you see it is into Louisiana as well. As a matter of fact, when you look with latest information with the Euro, you can see as you go through for Saturday, bringing those strong storms overnight into Sunday, 
that we could still get a low pressure system bringing chances for damage and winds and once again and maybe a tornado threat right along the gulf coast as we go through for a sunday carrying all the way towards the southeast until early monday morning so i do think the severe weather risk will go through sunday and monday towards the southeast and then maybe get a storm system that builds up right off the northeast as we go through wednesday and thursday so we do need to watch out for that as well still showing us to bring a lot of heavy rainfall from the atmospheric river hitting over here towards washington oregon northern california showing it could be a lot it could add up anywhere from two to three two to four inches maybe a little bit more for the higher elevations of Washington. Plus what comes across for the north central. You could get one or two inches and a little bit of winds from that little trough that comes through. But over here for the south and the south central, this is where it really starts to add up. This is well needed rainfall, but bringing anywhere from two to three inches possible for southern Kansas, Oklahoma, going through eastern Texas, Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and it goes across the southeast, bringing anywhere from one to two inches of rainfall. Now, this pivot over here towards the mid Atlantic, we could see more of this if that storm system shows true, bringing a lot of heavier rainfall potentially and a lot of winds, showing so far anywhere from six to seven inches over here for North Carolina going into Virginia, plus the winds that could come with this you can see it coming from the northwest bringing that 50 60 even at 70 maybe even getting 80 miles per hour wind gusts from that atmospheric river for washington and oregon carrying that 40 and 50 all the way from that green and that orange from the west from montana wyoming coming through the north central but as it goes through the northeast those are some very strong winds right there now so far they're right offshore but if this pivots a little bit closer it could get a little bit worse. It also could get a little bit better if this goes a little bit further away. I will keep you updated. There's going to be multiple storms popping up just within the next couple of days. And that is the latest update that I have for you. I will see you again for this afternoon for the latest information. Make sure you click the bell and subscribe to get alerted to those updates. Now, before I go, a quick word from our father. I want to keep praying for those that's in the path of Melissa. Now, yesterday we did Psalm 91, 5 through 10. Today we're going to continue that psalm 91 10 through 15 that way we're doing the whole psalm 91 prayer for protection from everyone that's in the path there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the line and adder the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. Amen. And the last one is 16. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. My prayers go out for those in the path for Melissa. I wish I can do more for you. Remember, above all things, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all in the path. I hope you will be safe. I'll see you this afternoon.